Well, last weekend against Michigan may have been the most exciting weekend Badger hockey fans have seen in a long, long time. Back-to-back -back overtime wins against the Wolverines. And now Wisconsin hits the road for the first round of the Big Ten playoffs. I'm Brian Posick. Head coach Tony Granato joins us next on the Badger Hockey Digest. Spot for the puck. We've threw one, two, three. He scores! <laughs> well, Tony, you finished off the regular season with two thrilling wins against the Michigan Wolverines, a team that was battling for home ice, just like you were for the first round of the playoffs. And uh, to win on Friday and then win twice on Saturday with overtime goals, uh, that was uh, quite a performance by your club. I'm sure you're really encouraged going into the postseason. It was a great weekend. Uh, you know, senior night, parents all in town. Uh, Mike LaCrone's last game as a band director for, for us after 50 years. Um, heading into playoffs, like you said, two, two great schools with great tradition, um, both battling for playoff positioning. Couldn't have asked for more entertaining hockey or more hard-fought hockey. And you know, to have to score the second overtime goal on Saturday says a lot about where our team is right now. I think that was the one thing earlier in the year. If something bad happened to us, we'd take it. You know, the recovery time was a little bit longer to get back into the game. This game, we thought we win the game uh, on a great play by Gorniak. The refs go back and find a, a too many men on the ice type of situation where they disallowed the goal, and you know, 30 seconds later, the next shift, we're able to score again. So the energy in the building was great. I think the fans saw uh, some great hockey. And what it does, it sets us up for an opportunity to go into playoffs feeling good about ourselves and showing you know, our fans and ourselves that, that we can compete and play with anybody. So we're coming off three really good games. We're going to play a great, great team in Penn State. But you know, they should be looking at us and, and trying to figure out, OK, why are they rolling? Why? And I think that's what you want as a team going into playoffs. You want the other team having to worry about you. And, and then hopefully Penn State uh, you know, looks at us and, and sees the danger that we have and uh, playing against them, and, and hopefully that plays to our advantage. Yeah, Wisconsin was picked to finish sixth in the Big Ten this season, finished fifth. You could have finished second, couldn't yeah, you? One went away from being in second place. A lot of people, you know, look at fifth in the standing and say, what a disappointing season. And then we look at it as coaches and say, geez, you know, we were one went away from being in second. So it's a great conference. Uh, there's every team in our conference is capable of winning a national tournament. That's what I think. Even Michigan State, who, who finished at the bottom, was a really competitive team. They got the best line in college hockey, and their goaltending is good, really good. Mm -hmm. They got a chance to beat anybody. So our conference was was uh, very competitive, and uh, you know I was proud of how we battled through it, and, and especially the way we finished. And you know now we go in the playoffs. And last year there were a lot of sweeps in the first round. I think this is a situation where a lot of teams could go into other teams' buildings and have a lot of success, and that's certainly what we're looking to do at Penn State. Yeah, and against Michigan, too, a lot of people chipped in to the two overtime victories. Sean Doogie was named the Big Ten's number one star. He had two goals and two assists and had the game winner on Friday. Linus Weisbach, uh, we, again, we see how good he can be, and he maneuvered his way in for the game winner on Saturday, too. And then one of your seniors, Matthew Freitag, he's on a roll. He finished last season strong. He's finishing this season strong. Four goals, uh, five points in his last five games, a three-game goal-scoring streak. Nice to see. It's great to see. And, and and, uh, he's battled all year for us. He's played different roles on different lines for us. Uh, I think the, the position he's been playing in the last few games and the line he's played with, they have great chemistry. And they, they, they're having fun playing together and they're finishing. And Matthew Freitag is a great goal scorer. And hopefully, that, you know, now that he's on a roll and got a few, in, a few games, this will continue in the playoffs. All right. So, right now, let's take two minutes with Badger senior Matthew Freitag. What do you think has changed most in your four years here at the University of Wisconsin? I definitely think the culture is a little different. You know, guys want to get better every day. You know, everyone's coming in early, doing more stuff than what is asked of us. So I definitely think that aspect and kind of the way we play. You know, we play like a faster paced game, more controlled game. And I think it's, you know, it's a lot more fun to play when you, you know, you got this try to make more plays, try to score more goals. And you look at the games we've played in the last couple, couple games, we've scored a lot of goals. So it's been a lot more fun. Yeah. Your sophomore year, 20 wins, came so close to the NCAA tournament. The following year, only 14 wins, 13 this year. I'm wondering after that, that first year with Tony Granato and his staff that you thought, okay, we're going to get back to the NCAA tournament where Wisconsin hockey should be. Oh, yeah. I think, you know, 
I think we can do it this year. I think, you know, last year was a tough year, you know, we didn't go the way we wanted to. And then, you know, look at this year, you know, there's many games that we were just right there and it would end up in a tie or end up in a loss by just one little mistake. And I think we've learned uh, from those mistakes that, you know, coming into the playoffs here. And you look at last week and I think we've got that chemistry going. We've got that momentum, that trust back into our team. Some big goals scored last weekend, including by you. You're riding a three-game goal scoring streak. You got four goals, five points in the last five games. Last year, the final six games, you had four goals and five points. Yeah. So what is it about the end of the year, Matthew? I don't know what that is. Uh, you know, I just try to play as well as I can. You know, it's pretty easy when you're playing with Messer and Zimmer and, you know, all the teams connecting, you know, they make it easy. They make the game easy. So I just love playing with them and love being out there. And now it's postseason time, your last kick at the can. I know you've had a lot of fun here, and I know you'd like to finish this really strong. Wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely. You know, all of us seniors, we want to finish as uh, winners, definitely. So, you know, do the best we can. And I think you know, this, this weekend we'll do really well as a team. And, uh, you know, it's, it's tough. You know, you don't want to lose. You know, that's the biggest thing. You know, when you're a sophomore or you're a junior, you kind of be like, okay, maybe there's that next year. You just got that in the back of your head. You know, you don't try to think like that. But when you're a senior, you know, this is it. This is all we. This is all we got left. So you know, I think all of us want to leave it out there on the table, and uh, hopefully the team will follow. The Learfield IMG College Directors Cup, the highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through the directorscup.com, USA Today, or L Directors Cup on Twitter. Learfield IMG College Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993. Wisconsin and Penn State this weekend in Happy Valley, Hockey Valley. The students are gone, though, this weekend, so that may make a difference in the stands. We'll see. Uh, but these teams have played four times during the regular season. Badgers won two, tied once, lost once as well. 39 total goals scored in the four games. So I think fans are expecting a, a couple of wild ones, maybe three up in State College. But you know, they're the highest scoring team in the country, have the best power play in league games in the Big Ten this season too. They're a very, very explosive hockey club. They are. They're, they're very dynamic offensively. They, they don't mind going chance for chance. Um, they're going to try to open the game up as best they can. They're going to try to get us to play that game. Uh, and our objective is obviously to get them to play our game. And ours would be more structured, more controlled, more uh, you know, offensive zone time where the game slows down and you grind it out as opposed to just going back and forth. And obviously it's exciting. Obviously we've had success against them uh, you know, in, in our building and, and one game in their building. Uh, but, but we did it by doing things right defensively, doing things right when we had the puck of keeping it and, and not trying to you know, play high, make high-risk plays. And, mm -hmm. and if you do that, you feed into their game. So, so we'll have to be disciplined uh, in that part of the game. And if we are and we continue to play and battle the way we have the past few games, we'll put ourselves in a really good position to have success this week. And when it comes to postseason, special teams are huge. Your power play hasn't converted as much, but you're getting more chances, it appears. Your penalty kill looks improved over the past couple of weeks, too. And then your goaltending has to be good. And I'm anxious to see Daniel Lebedev, the rookie, uh, in net this weekend against the Nittany Lions. Me too. I mean, Daniel has done a really nice job for us in his freshman year. He's a competitor. Um, he, he's been in that building before. All of the experiences that he's had going to North Dakota, going to Ohio State, going to Michigan, going to Penn State, all the new buildings for him has been new. And now he knows their team a little bit better, too. He knows their shooters. He's got a book on how they play. And hopefully that helps him in the playoffs. And he's been, he's, he's, he's energized, man. The kid, yeah. the kid competes. And, and uh, I think our team plays like his personality, which is, uh, which is important as well. All right. Have fun this weekend. Thanks Thank for your you, time. Brian. Sure. You. That's Badgers head coach Tony Granato. I'm Brian Posick. Wisconsin, Penn State, Friday night. The game starts at 7, Saturday at 5, Sunday if necessary at 5 o'clock. You can watch them video streamed BTN+. Plus. You can also listen to the Badgers Sports Network and the iHeartRadio app. For Tony Granato, Jay Williams, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest.